Hi everyone! Happy New Year! Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in in 2019. I had a really nice and relaxing holidays, but it's been a while since I picked up the pencil, so I feel super rusty and there are things I want to get going on like designing new products and coming up with an idea for a new painting, but I keep pushing those things off because I feel super rusty in my drawing skills. So for today's video, I thought it'd be fun to share what I do to warm up my drawing hand. So basically what I do when I have taken a long break from drawing and I am procrastinating on drawing for myself, drawing in the sketchbook, I like to go back to the basics, um, the fundamentals, and I like to look at anatomy books. For today's video, I decided I'm going to copy some drawings off of the book by George Bridgman. It's called The Complete Guide to Drawing from Life and it is a book that I would recommend to any artist of any level. So I'm just gonna scroll through the book and find some drawings that I want to start off copying. I usually like to start off doing um, more simpler drawings um, and usually full body drawings and not just like pieces like that. Wait, like that. I like to start off drawing the whole body. Yeah, this is too complex um, just to start off with. Um, I'm going to come back to this probably and draw it once I feel like I've loosened up enough. Actually, I, I do like to start from around this section here, uh, rhythm. So, um, let me take a sip of water. So, let's begin. Now, my first drawings off the book, they're going to be pretty bad. But it's not about how pretty the drawing is. It's about you loosening up that drawing hand and getting used to drawing again. It doesn't have to be 100% faithful to his lines, but if you don't know how to draw anatomy very well in the beginning, it does help to try and copy every line um, as closely as you can get it. Well, that one is really bad, but I will warm up as I go. Now I will try to do them as quickly as possible because mileage is important. Get that line there. Rib cage, shoulder, the twist of the pelvis. I find that um, copying off these drawings, it just really helps reinforce the um, typical rhythms of the human um, figure. Okay. So here, um, in this drawing, Bridgman indicates the, um, uh, what is this, the rib cage <laughs> and the pelvis um, as boxes. And that's how we learned it too in, back in life drawing in art school. Why? I wish I could tell you, I wish I could explain. <laughs> <laughs> explain it better, but you can easily see the perspective, the changing perspective when you visualize in boxes. I can tell this one's very similar to this one, but the the legs are going to be different. The weight is shifted differently on the pelvis. And this one is a little off. I got this line off. Um, of this leg here, so I'm gonna correct that again. Um, I want to reiterate that these drawings don't have to be perfect. If they're not looking too hot, don't worry, you will 
get better at it as you go. The point is not to get perfect drawings. Yeah, this one is really off. Yeah, let me try drawing it again. There's something about the pelvis that I'm finding a little hard to wrap my head around, but I'll try to get this line more accurate this time in the placement of the foot. You're not gonna hit a home run with every drawing. Some of them are gonna trip you up a bit like this one for me. I gave it a fair try. It's important to not get too carried away. If you are struggling with one, maybe try drawing it a second time like I did, but try to move on and draw as much as you can. Let's try this one. I like to um, fill up the paper very tightly. I think it's just, um, just like an obsessive thing, <laughs> trying to use up as much of the paper as as possible. So this one in his uh, drawing, it's it's drawn more lyrically, more um, with curved lines and straight lines, which I find honestly more difficult. I find it easier to copy off of drawings that are more that were more done in straight lines. It's easier to copy a um, straight angle than curved angle. But I like the um, twist of the pelvis and how it is, how we're looking um, at the bottom of it. <laughs> I don't know, you can really feel the rotation of it, I think, in the drawing. And um, like I said, you don't have to draw it um, line for line like um, how he did it. If it helps you to draw through the figure, um, draw guidelines before you make like the final line, that's all fine whatever helps you to get to sketch looking like um, what his sketch looks like. This is kind of fun. I always have a little bit of trouble um, copying the head sometimes, especially with the George Bridgman drawings. So yeah, I'm constantly looking down at my drawing and back up at the reference, correcting um, as I go if I misplaced something, but not trying to be too perfect with it. Sometimes these like curved lines of the leg, it can, it can be pretty challenging to draw sometimes and it ends up looking like a sausage. So it's, it's crucial to offset the curves because if you have like, if you have <laughs> them happening at the same time, it just looks like, like a sausage. Yeah, not feeling too hot on this one either. I, I think I'm definitely nervous trying to draw and talk at the same time. Trying to say things that may be helpful or just observant, but it's hard. <laughs> um, even I don't really understand what, like everything that I am doing as I'm drawing these. So I'm not sure if I'm making sense or if I'm making sure to point out certain things that need to be pointed out. Good enough. You can 
see the figure is looking downward, I think. There's a lot of foreshortening with his head and the rib cage. So I think that's what I liked about it because it's a little bit different from the other drawings so far. My drawing's a lot simpler than his. It's not showing every little landmarks for um, indicating certain certain muscle here. And um, let's see, which one shall I pick? So in this sketch, I can tell the figure is looking up and we are seeing the underside of their chin. I know that um, some of these drawings may look very simple to others if you're not familiar with figure drawing. They're really just shorthands. I suggest um, taking figure drawing lessons if you can, if you are lucky enough that you live in a city that um, provides that. Um, if there is um, an, an art school near you, um, you can see, you can um, contact them and see if they have figure drawing classes available, like a drop-in session kind of thing. They are incredibly valuable. Um, I owe everything that I know about uh, figure drawing and anatomy and all that stuff. I owe everything to having taken so many life drawing classes in art school. Um, the shorthand drawing that we're doing, it, um, yeah, it makes sense because when you're drawing um, in real life the human figure in try trying to draw the figure in a couple of minutes you can't like get so much detail on it like like a photograph you have to get a rough statement and that's I think that's what a shorthand is it informs the audience enough where things are what things should be it's a quick method of getting information down not great but can't spend too much time on these things let's try to find one last little drawing that we can put right there something small ideally there's the line for the back leg let's plant the feet for the front leg here Extend up. I feel like legs are fun because it's kind of like putting pieces together. Like you have the the um, line of the action for the legs, and once that's in place, you can just kind of it's like it's like a puzzle. I think all these shapes coming out from that line and they have to be done in an appealing way otherwise they look like this they look like like sausages so there you have it here is a full page of copied drawings from George Bergman's book I would normally do um, probably a couple more sheets of this but it's already 
um, three o'clock in the day and I don't want to lose the sunlight. So I'm going to now go ahead and try drawing on my own from my head. Hopefully this exercise will have helped loosen me enough to do that. So this is a stage where I like to put away the books and draw straight from my head and do drawings that kind of stretch my knowledge of anatomy and gesture and I find gestural drawings help me get loosened up. It helps me be more inventive with my poses. So for this stage, I decided to pull out this giant sketchbook that I picked up at an estate sale for one whole dollar. For comparison, here's my regular sketchbook. I can't even get the whole thing in frame, but as you can see, it is a lot bigger. For the purpose of today's exercise, today's warm up practice, I am going to stick to I think one character so that I don't I don't get too like bogged down um, trying to come up with a design like a brand new design per every drawing. I'm just gonna stick to a character that I have drawn before. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. So this is really nerve wracking, but let's let's start. Let's start somewhere. Um, just uh, yeah, let's let's do it. Let's uh, indicate a head and uh, I'm gonna make it a profile kind of a view. There's the eyes. There's the nose. Let's see, chin, and these are just. Warm up drawings are not gonna be anything too complicated. Mostly gonna be concerned with the uh, gesture and the pose. Yeah, I'm searching. I don't, I didn't have a clear idea to begin with. I am literally just searching on paper, but this is, this is what warming up is all about. Yeah, let's start with something simple. By the way, um, these these figures are probably not gonna have clothes on because that's just how I I I've been um, accustomed to drawing poses from life drawing. It's just easier to draw the clothes on top later on. Yeah, so you know. First sketch in a brand new sketchbook, not gonna be very good, but let's not let that stop us. I'm building up some of the muscles. So yeah, here is the first pose that I did from my head. It's, it's rhythmic, but it's not dynamic and his pose is super awkward. It looks like he has his hand on his butt. What shall we draw now? Let's start with, uh, let's introduce him a little bit. Let's uh, draw, draw the front view of his head. Here's the nose. He's gonna be looking down. So his ears are gonna be popping up above the, the eye line. I'm, I'm searching, I'm searching. Let's, let's try something very different. Maybe his rib cage is going like this. Maybe he's sitting somewhere and we're looking, we're looking down at him. So it's, we're looking down at him, but he's looking up at us. Yeah, there's gonna be some overlapping within um, each drawing. Can't perfectly plan these things out. I don't mind when drawings overlap. I think it looks kind of neat, especially in a sketchbook. Now the legs, I don't know what to do with them. Yeah, I'm not sure this pose makes much sense, but yeah, they're they're not gonna make much sense. Not all of them anyway. I'm just gonna commit and um, just go with it. 
Hmm, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we can try something else. Uh, maybe I'll just turn him into a little karate kid and give him a pretty ridiculous pose. Because I, I can't really, um, can't really think of anything else. Maybe it'll make a little more sense if this kid has some clothes. Does this make any sense? I'm contorting the body too much. I think I'm gonna erase this leg. But yeah, I guess uh, in carrying on the whole karate or kung fu theme, let's, uh, yeah, let's extend the foot out this way, give it some perspective. See, that looks like stupid. No. You know what, I think I'm just gonna keep keep the legs together. Maybe he's jumping up in air. I don't know, I, I can't seem to solve this. Maybe he's <clears throat> standing on top of some log or something. So yeah, not, uh, not every pose goes very smoothly, especially now because I am rusty but I'm trying not to let that get to me. It's about the practice. Anyway, let's move on. Let's move on. Actually, <clears throat> that hand looks really off. <laughs> it looks very long. Let's redraw, let's redraw this too. Let's just get rid of this. I think maybe I'm trying to draw too big too quickly. Yeah, well, you know what? Let's just hide that arm. <laughs> maybe it's going, behind him. Let's make it make sense. Let's give it, let's give him another log behind him where he can, <clears throat> where he's perching his other, other arm. Anyway, let's, let's move on. That was a bit disastrous and now I, See, I can't stop. I, I want to fix that and I want to move it going the other way because now that makes more sense. All right, moving on. Sometimes I don't start out with a head, but maybe the uh, gesture of the neck or rib cage, leg, it can be anything. It's just whatever kind of pops up in my head and then you you just build out everything from there. Let's have let's have his uh, his body turn this way so that we have some room to work with here. Maybe his arms are his well his one arm is folded this way. Maybe he's got his hands his fingers kind of um, like that. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of see him going, just standing. Let's see, let's put some, let's put some clothes on him. Maybe he's got, he's got like one of those night hat things, like bedtime hat things. I can picture him in jammies. I don't know why. I'm seeing him in jammies. Yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> that's good enough. There. Maybe he's got a body pillow. There, moving on to the rest of the page. Let's see. What other crazy thing can we draw? Let's see, start out with the head here. Don't know what it's gonna look like, but I'm placing it here so that maybe the body will jut out this way. Maybe. Yeah, I'm not as good as, I'm not as good with the like super dynamic poses, so 
this is gonna be another hard one, but maybe his uh, his leg can be like, he can be like kicking us or something. Not kicking us, but his foot is in our face. Maybe he's, he's got his arms crossed in defiance. Like, yeah, here's my foot. Talk to my foot. That way I can hide the hands too. Let's have his neck kind of sticking out here and his head twisted and he's looking at us, I don't know, with a look like, oh yeah? Like, so what, huh? Like I said, you know, it doesn't have to be anything that really makes sense if you are just trying to loosen up. You never know what you're gonna get when you just start out and build up as you go without Anything in mind? Maybe he's got his arms ex arm extended. Maybe he is waving, waving hello at us. I'm gonna draw his legs yet, but that's part of the fun, is uh, figuring things out one by one. the other leg go. I can just have it come, well his foot come out this way. I always have to like think, stop and think like, oh wait, where, where does the big toe go? <laughs> Otherwise I will probably draw it in the wrong spot. I do really like drawing feet though. I, I find them very expressive. And I honestly find them um, easier to draw than I do hands. So yeah, that's, that's about it. So there you have it. This is how my page of sketches turned out. I hope you guys enjoy seeing how I like to warm up when I feel rusty after not having drawn for a couple of weeks. Hopefully there was some helpful information in there for you guys. Thanks so much for watching as always, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.